In this video, we're talking about Shapecast, automating 3D design for plaster molds and ceramic slip casting. I'm Kent Lyons. I'm with Inovo Studio, where we conduct novel research and take it all the way to the products. Slip casting is a process where you take liquid clay slip and pour it into a plaster mold to form a ceramic pot. You then let the slip sit for a while, about half an hour in this case, and then you drain it out and then flip it over and let it finish draining. and pull out the newly formed ceramic piece. However, where do these plaster molds come from? And in particular, can we use 3D printing to fabricate these molds? That's what we're doing with Shapecast. It automates the mold creation process. Instead of needing to 3D model the intended pot, the plaster mold for that pot, and then finally a 3D printed mold for the plaster mold, we're doing this automatically. All the artist needs to do is draw a single profile of their intended pot. Shapecast automatically generates the STLs for that mold, which can be printed out. It also accounts for clay shrinkage, adds a slip well, and has provisions for mold assembly and disassembly. Here is an example. On the left, the artist drew a profile of their pot, and on the right, you can see the forms created by Shapecast automatically. Shapecast creates a design proof up front so you can get a sense of what the pot's like, and next to that, you can see a finished ceramic pot. It creates several different molds parts, the molds are then assembled, plaster is poured in, the mold is disassembled, and the plaster is finally removed. So here's the inner mold with the slip well. It has threaded inserts for easy attachment. To create a tight seal so the plaster doesn't leak out between 3D printed parts, we use a neoprene gasket. Once that's been applied to all the parts, it is assembled using the bolts and threaded inserts. Plaster is mixed up and poured in. Here we're using special plaster specifically formulated for slip casting. Once the plaster is cured, the mold can be disassembled. And then a new plaster mold for slip casting is formed. Here's another mold that we created, basically the same idea, it was a different profile. Again, we pour in the plaster. And once it's set, the mold is again disassembled. The outer mold is removed. And the inner mold is removed. Once the plaster is fully dry, we have a new mold again. And that's what we use to slip cast using our slip. Here are several different pieces that we made showcasing the capabilities of Shapecast. That is Shapecast. Automating 3D design for plaster molds and ceramic slip casting.